So, here we are. Welcome to another edition of the Carter Hour. Well, what I have in my uh, workshop today is a HP Pavilion DV7. Now, this hasn't been my first encounter with one of these units. Um, seems like HP had an issue with these units. Not so much with this revised version as it did with a version that I've worked on before, which still the same thing, DV7, but the motherboard was a little bit different revision. Seems like after a while these heat up and the solder joints on the actual motherboard cause the video card to not respond. And how we tell that is basically we'll power it up here. And there's two lights, the num lock light, the number lock, and caps locks, and they'll start flashing. And they'll flash a code, and that's the video code. It means the video card cannot be communicated with. So generally what we have to do is we have to tear this whole unit down, pull the motherboard out, and then what I do is I actually heat it in the oven. I do it twice. I heat it for 10 minutes on three, I believe it's 365, and then I let it pull it out of the oven, let it sit, cool down for about 40 minutes, and then I rerun it again for another 10 minutes at 365 and pull it out and then you know it's not a guarantee that it's going to work um, right now this you know computer is rendered useless and you know so might as well give it a try to fix this thing and sometimes it fixes it permanently i've had some of these units that have worked better since uh the day that that has been done some have had to come back and be done three or four times and still are not right. So basically, or you can replace the motherboard, one or the other. It's cheaper to do the heating method first, see if that comes out with anything, and then because you're, you're going to have the same problem with getting a newer motherboard or getting one off of eBay anyways, you're going to have that same problem. So I'm going to go ahead and tear this down, and this is just going to be a video I'm just showing you the unit and I'm gonna tear it down. I'm not really gonna probably do any video. I might do a video of it torn down and then, you know, I'll put it back together and hopefully everything will work out. All right. So here is the motherboard out of the DV7. As you can see, I've taken it all apart. There's all the pieces and parts that go with this, there's not a whole lot of parts, but a lot of screws, as you can see. Right over here, we have the screws. Um, so, in order for me to bake this successfully, we need to remove the CPU cooler, which is also the video chip cooler here. And this is actually where it becomes desoldered. Um, because this is actually the video chip right here and after a while it just even though it's cooling it's not uh, I think these had a problem with cooling efficiently and I believe they do actually sell kits to extend this or to make this better but uh, I'm not looking to do that I'm looking to simply and you know also the heat the, the compound also could be crusty and not doing its job as well so I'm gonna go ahead and remove the CPU video cooler and remove that off and then uh, I'll take the chip out and then uh, this will be ready to go in to be baked uh, so we'll do 10 minutes on 40 minutes off 10 minutes on 40 minutes off Put it back, reassemble, and hopefully uh, everything goes as planned. 
Uh, looks like the fix was a success right now. I'm going ahead and doing the Windows updates on here as well. Got the computer reassembled and just waiting for the uh, Windows updates to get updated on the uh, HP Pavilion DV7. And uh, this unit I think was purchased in 2009, so it's uh, you know it's five years old. But uh, it still runs real well, runs Windows 7 pretty well. Came with, uh, I believe, Windows Vista. Yeah, came with Windows Vista. But uh, this unit uh, hopefully will have a couple more years left out of it. And uh, it's charging right now too, so that's a good sign. And uh, anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and end this right now. It wasn't really a big video, just kind of wanted to show you guys that it was broken, powered up, wouldn't get a post or anything, and now we're uh, getting a post, and hopefully uh, the fix holds up. All right, for another edition of the Carter Hour for March 26th. Thank you for joining. Appreciate all the subscribers, friends, viewers, and uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, you're more than welcome to go ahead. I appreciate it. Again, thank you so much.